Hello, this is Shelby, and uh, I've got this oral here. I'm looking at the calendar, and it looks like I have about five weeks plus a day or two before I have to leave to take this oral back to Mississippi to compete. And uh, that's not a lot of time. I mean, it's a lot of time, but it's not a lot of time. I want to leave a little bit early. I want to ride him in a couple of the states as I travel through, so it's going to take my trip a little bit longer. Also, sorry, Julie, I haven't emailed you on this. Um, I want to get down to Mississippi um, two, three, four days early, whatever I can. So to anybody that's in the area down there that's interested in them, they can come and see them. And uh, I realized, like, I've talked a lot about him and how good he's doing and what I've been doing with him. But um, I feel like I'm taking a, a, a horse to find a new home, and there's no user manual. And uh, so I bought some more camera equipment, and we are going to see. I've never done this before. We're going to see if I can't make a user manual for Tesoro here. Um, when it comes to just how he works, he works like any other horse. The training is, is pretty much normal. Uh, as you would train in, in, in any other horse. But the degree of energy that he has is a little bit higher because of his breed. And the sensitivity is a little bit higher um, from his personality and his breed. Um, and it doesn't help that I look for little teeny tiny things. I want a super light responsive horse. So then that compound, that makes, that makes him like really easy to work with but so easy it's hard. So we're gonna just kind of go through things as weather permitting. Um, you wouldn't know it, but it was just pouring rain. Tesoro soaked. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna start with just some of our basic groundwork that I do. Uh, one of the things about this horse is he's very weather sensitive. Uh, here in, in Washington, the only really stuff that I notice Weather sensitive wise with horses is if it goes hot to cold really fast, you have horses that are lazy or energetic. Um, he changes with the barometer. So if it's a, if there's a, enough of a change, he, he'll come out and he, he has energy. He's not bad. He's not pulling or dragging or, or spooky like really. He just has more energy. So every time I get him out, and this is pretty true of almost all my horses, is all I want him to do is a walk. Mentally, his feet are walking this direction. The only thing I only thing I expect of him is just to keep walking. And so I'm going to switch directions, and we're going to see how this side of him is working. Is it still walking? So his head's a little bit higher, and he's not quite all the way into that walk. This is his, his, he's less secure on this side, and it's really good, but it's not balanced as much as I'd like it. So if he comes out and he's a little bit up because yesterday it was raining and today it's sunny or something or whatever, he's been sitting, I'm not going to make him walk. He's going to probably move around like this at first. So I'm going to move him at, move him like that for a little bit, and then I'm going to offer the walk. I'm not going to, I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to ask him to move it, move up, and then I'm going to transfer down to a walk. And then I'm going to pick him back up and then ask him to, to walk. And see, if he takes a few steps before he goes into that walk, I know that mentally his feet are moving about like this. So we'll move him like that for a little bit. It's not hurting anything. I'm not worried about bend. I'm not worried about anything other than him pulling on me and, and or changing gait unless I'm asking him to. I'm gonna change directions. So you see this horse is really in tune to what your body does. If, if I lift my hand up here, he should just keep on trucking down. If I relax down here, he comes down to a walk. 
and he wants to face, face up to me. That's kind of the level of how much this horse pays attention. I can't create this in a horse unless that horse wants to pay attention that much. If I do, it's just a reaction. This is mental working, like workings inside his head. So a little bit of energy. Now we'll just pick him up a little bit. So basically, I haven't asked him to bend. I'm not asking him to bend on the circle. I'm just moving him forward. So I, I have a little bit of focus on his shoulder. Let's see if we can do this when the camera comes by. If I pick up on this rein and I go towards that shoulder, he's going to move away. And then I'm just driving him a little bit from behind if he needs it, which is not really a lot. When I want to change directions with him, I'm going to stop, switch hands with my lead so that it's now my rein on my right hand. And I'm just going to ask him to move out. And he can go any speed that I'm asking him. He can go in gait or he can go in a walk. So again, I'm going to switch hands. And I'm going to pick my hand up. And if I need to, I'll just push a little bit on his shoulder, just like if I was riding him. So hand up, offer him out. The tail of my rope ends up being my leg and send them on out the other way. We're going to do it again. I'm going to switch hands, offer that, and then that time I didn't have to use the lead rope. So the other thing about him is like sometimes your cues are, are completely like a finished horse would be. Other times there's a little bit of training. So now I'm going to ask him to stop. I'm going to step out and say, whoa. That's one way. The other way is I'm not going to step out. I'm going to stay in one place, and I'm going to lift up my hand. He's already waiting for it. I'm going to lift up my hand in front of him and say, whoa, whoa. And he should stay on the line there, but this is his mind is still thinking forward. Um, so that's just what, what we have with it right now, and it's okay. So I'm going to switch directions again, change my rein, use my leg, which is my other hand, my tail, and my rope, send them on around. And now I'm going to step out in front of him and stop him. He used to ground tie, I promise you. Whoa. I'm going to ask him back out. I'm going to stop my feet. And I don't even have to lift up on it. He should be, he should be st staying out there on the line, but this is where he is when he's a little bit fresh or the barometer or whatever, he's got a little bit more energy than he, than he does if you're riding him four, five, six days a week and he comes out that Monday and he's just a little bit more hoarse. But it's nothing to be scared of or intimidated about. He's, he's just, his mind is just moving a little bit faster. So he should, whether regardless where I'm at, if I pick up on this lead, he should come forward. If I pick up my hand and I go towards him, that should he should move backwards. If not, then obviously we just do just a little bit of wiggle. Um, you normally don't have to get really big with him, but when you do, he should go faster. I work him slow with everything because he's already got the fast. He has no problem doing things a little bit faster is what I'm trying to say, actually. But... We want to train the body and train the mind to work in a way that is proper for his body. So he doesn't fall down and doesn't scare himself and doesn't trip over his own feet. He's already got the speed, so now we just we want to work on the body mechanics of putting it together where he moves his body the way 
is the uh, is the best for him for longevity and balance uh, and honestly comfort and uh, peace of mind. So when I ask him to back up with uh, physical pressure, I don't even have to close my hand. There's just a little bit on my thumb there. But if I do, I just can close it. Just close it. And if I leave, keep my hand picked up here, he just rolls right on back. Now, I don't believe, for this horse especially, like uh, he needs his nose cranked all the way down on the vertical. He's going to tell me where balance is, and he's going to be almost on the vertical. So he's, he's finding himself in his collection where he needs to be here. And we'll leave it at that. And this doesn't matter which side of the horse you're on. Come on this side. Pick up. And you should just back on up for me. 